Hello guys, today we're gonna see how we can make this awesome ice cube. It looks very cool in my opinion. Uh, using shader graph and making it procedural. Okay, so let's start. Okay, so we're going to start by creating a new shader. Okay, shader, DBR graph, and we're going to call this ice shader. We're going to double click it and I'm going to maximize this so you can see clear what I am doing. And here we have the property stuff and the PBR mass load. Now, uh, first of all, I'm going to change my main preview from sphere into a cube because that's what we're going to be working with. Okay. And now, I'm going to use a border node texture which has this kind of pattern that looks like shadowy glass to my eyes and I am going to combine this with a Fresnel effect node and basically what this uh, Fresnel effect does is to change the reflection or the color depending on how it is this node uh, from the center to the edge of the material and it makes it uh, it's a color it makes it for example blue on the edges but on the center it has no color okay uh, let's see we are going to multiply these two values uh, we're going to connect the cells output and not the out output because we need this kind of pattern, which I am going to show you this preview. As you can see, this, this kind of pattern, which is uh, very sharp edges. I'm going to delete this one. I'm going to this into the A channel and the Fresnel into the B channel. Great. I am going to increase the cell density to something like 10. No, not 510. 10. And I'm going to decrease the power that for now, so it's not that strong. Great. And now, in order to create that kind of frozen interior that ice has, I'm going to use a noise texture, simple noise. Uh, no. And I am going to set this to 50. And I am going to use a power node as well. To really control how frozen the interior is. I'm going to connect this into the power node and then I'm going to add this simple noise to this multiply node. Add. So we are going to add this layer with this other layer so that we can have both effects together. Great. And now I am going to decrease the power a little bit so it's not that frozen. Yeah. Great, it's looking cool so far. I'm going to grab all of this and I'm going to see how it looks inside the cube, or well, on the cube actually. Yeah, that's the kind of look that I am going for. And now I'm going to disconnect this. And on the PBR master, I am going to go to the gear. And I am going to select uh, the surface and I'm going to change it from opaque to transparent. Because as you know, cubes are transparent. And I am going to uh, enable this two sided option so that we can see both faces of the cube, no matter from, what we are, from where we are seeing. Uh, great. You know, if I decrease the alpha channel, it should become, yeah, it should fade out. Good. And now I am going to use all of this setup that I have right here and connect it into the alpha channel so that I have that transparency in some places and others. No? Wait, we already know how this works. Uh, basically, as you see, it's a value from 0 to 1. 0 is black here and the white parts are white. And now I know that eyes is completely white or transparent. But I am going to use a color node so that I can give it a bluish color. 
I'm going to use a multiplier. I'm going to multiply the color with this effect that we have here with this texture that we have built so far. Uh, I am going to change this to a bluish color. Not that blue, it's going to be very subtle. So I want it to be to look at the eyes. Uh, yeah, I think that looks cool. And I'm going to connect this into the LB. And we're going to see the result. Oh, that's looking very nice. It's not eyes yet, but it looks nice. Uh, I'm going to increase the smoothness as eyes is very reflective. And its surface is not rough. It's actually very the opposite of rough. Okay. And now while it is going to give us that kind of crack effect all over the surface, as you can see there is a line. Uh, which is a reflection, and the reflection is very sharp. But I have a sharp reflection, but its surface is not that sharp. Uh, so in order to do that, we're going to use a normal map. And basically what this is going to do, we're going to choose normal from height, as we're going to create it from scale from 0 to 1. And what this is going to do, is to change this reflection in some places where this is white. This is what we are looking for. And we are going to see that this normal map doesn't look that good. And it's because it's not that powerful. So we are going to use a string node, normal string. Yep. Uh, we are going to plug this into the in input. And now we have control strength, which is cool. So I want to increase it. Uh, not crank it up, but with 5 it's okay with 6 in order to run it up. And now we're going to connect this into the normal channel and we're going to see that now we have eyes. I like this effect very much and I hope you like it too. I may increase this power of the uh, simple noise because I want it to look even more frozen as you can see here it looks even more frozen yeah that is what I'm looking for and now I'm going to minimize this save it in order to be able to use it I am going to go into the materials create uh, material and I'm going to call this ice underscore man. And I'm going to use ice shader. Oh, wow, look at that. Now I'm going to go into my scene. This is my cube. And I'm going to add this ice material to the cube. Oh, that looks sweet. And that's it for this tutorial. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please give it a like and share it. And um, I hope I can see you in the next one. Um, if you zoom in into the eyes, you can see the shadow parts, which looks very cool. Great! Uh, see you in the next time. Bye bye.